Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Tuziant. I'm the medical director of the Bacchus Weight Loss Center. I uh, am a general surgeon, specialized training in uh, minimally invasive uh, surgery. Uh, my interest in uh, weight loss surgery uh, began as a practicing surgeon uh, here in Norwich. Um, as we began seeing patients for other medical reasons and other uh, needs, uh, we noticed that there was really no um, place for these patients to go and anybody to really address uh, the, their weight issues. Um, being overweight in, in America is becoming a, a pandemic. Um, more than 67% of uh, Americans are overweight, uh, with uh, over 21% uh, of patients being uh, classified as obese. Uh, here at Bagus, we put together a very comprehensive uh, program uh, with our own in-house nutritionists developing uh, dietary plans and recipes uh, to, uh, uh, for patients both preoperatively before the surgery or postoperatively after the surgery. Uh, we're going to be, um, uh, patients will be given uh, some cooking classes. Um, we'll also have a psychiatric evaluation to make sure that the patients have a good support network before and after the uh, procedure as well as uh, addressing their surgical needs by myself. Patients who are good candidates or qualified for this procedure have a body mass index, basically a height to weight ratio greater than uh, 35 with two or more medical problems that are related to their being overweight. This can be uh, obstructive sleep apnea. Most patients snore at night, but we would uh, uh, have patients evaluated through our pulmonary sleep lab. Uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and even arthritis. The program is designed to be comprehensive to take care of both the patient psychologically, uh, to provide them the tools uh, to succeed, and uh, the tools will include um, uh, sort of retraining, rethinking how we eat, uh, smaller, more efficient, uh, uh, appropriate uh, meals, in conjunction with a, uh, a gastric band. The gastric band here is placed on the upper portion of the stomach, creating a small pouch. It's considered a restrictive type of a uh, bariatric procedure. The goal of the band is to create a smaller pouch that allows for earlier uh, satiety with smaller meals and longer periods of satisfaction uh, in between meals. After the procedure, we follow the patients monthly to make adjustments um, to fill the balloons that sit uh, throughout the, um, uh, the gastric band, which allows us to create a stoma size that's either bigger or smaller. We make these adjustments based upon how uh, much patients are eating, how hungry they are, how well they're satisfied, and really what their weight loss uh, is. The band, uh, once it's placed in, uh, is uh, considered to be a tool to help assist in the weight loss. This by no means will cure their weight issues or weight problems alone. This in conjunction with uh, good nutritional follow-up, good adjustments, um, do, uh, does allow for a uh, weight loss of approximately one to two pounds a week. But the reality of it is, is that you know, this is certainly something that we need in the community, that we need to provide our, our population here. The problem's not going away, and it's only gonna get a little bit more um, problematic. Our health of the community and the population is gonna drop down, and um, you know, we're gonna be treating them sort of after the fact, where now this, the, the interesting thing and the, the exciting thing about this is actually, you know, we already have the ability to intervene and stop more of the damaging effects of the other medical problems that are going on. Um, you know, we spend millions and millions of dollars each year on breast cancer and colon cancer, which are very, very well spent dollars, but more than 300,000 people a year will pass away from uh, obesity-related complications from their comorbidities, where about 90,000 patients will pass away from both breast cancer and colon cancer combined. And yet it's something that is, is not very well thought of in the community as something that we can do and help out with. It's almost accepted and we've become a little bit too passive uh, with it. To learn more about our program, the different types of surgical procedures that we have, uh, we have informational sessions, the uh, first being on July 20th, uh, 2010, at the Bacchus Outpatient Center, um, located off of uh, I-395, um, exit 80, and uh, come in and uh, take a look and, and hear a little bit more about us and the program. We request that uh, uh, folks call first and pre-register so we make sure that we have enough space available and enough information available for uh, individuals.